Welcome to CE Cape Town North, the beautiful Jesus Church. From here, we take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. CE Cape Town North is so much more than just a weekly Sunday service. Here, you will find two private schools, food fit for a king at our in-house cafe restaurant, and a fully stocked bookshop all under one roof. CE Academy. CE Academy, our prestigious private school, offers schooling for students from grade R to grade 12. The Academy follows the internationally accredited ACE curriculum using word-based teaching methods. Super Tots Crash. Super Tots is a beautiful crash for children from 18 months. Visit our interactive website www.cecapetownnorth.org Click on the Private Schools tab and register your child today. CE Cafe CE Cafe is where your taste buds can experience the heavenly. Eat delicious food, grab a drink, but most of all, relax. Visit CE Cafe Monday to Friday from 7 to 4 and be sure to grab the best brew in town before or after all church services. The Bookshop, the CE Cape Town North Bookshop. We invite you to come and browse our bookshop, offering a variety of books and DVDs for adults and fantastic material for children to build their faith and train them in the way they should go. Never go out of style with the Jesus Brand clothing range exclusively available at our bookshop. Purchase your monthly copy of the Rhapsody of Realities daily devotional for adults, teens and early readers as well as the Read to Me. See all of this and more at our bookshop open Mondays to Fridays from 9 to 3 also before and after all church services. Kids Church. We truly have the best kids church in the world. Bring the children on a Sunday morning to a place of love, joy and laughter. A place where they are valued and deeply cared for while being encouraged and uplifted in the word by our kids church ministers. Limitless Teens Church. If you are between the ages of 13 and 18 years, then Limitless is the place to be on a Sunday evening between 6 and 8. Limitless is a teen's church with an everlasting purpose where dreams are never too big and there is no limits. Get ready to start your week the right way with worship, word-based teachings, fun and fellowship with your friends. The New Superman Series the new Superman series is a five-week course hosted at CE Cape Town North and streamed to various viewing centers every Thursday evening. This course will equip you for the Christian life you ought to live, impacting your life immeasurably and changing the way you think. A change for the better. Dates for this series are widely published on our website and social media platforms. Foundation School. Knowledge is vital and it determines the difference between success and failure. At Foundation School, you will learn the foundational truths of Christianity and how to live a higher life in Christ. Every Sunday, we have a new intake for Foundation School. For further information and to register, visit the CE Cape Town North app or website today. Worship Night. Worship the King of Kings in spirit and truth. Sing praises to His name. Don't miss Worship Night every Friday at 7. Prayer Night. Pray without ceasing. Every Monday evening we impact our world through prayer. Join us for Prayer Night at 7. Sunday Services. Be uplifted and renewed by the Word. Sunday service starts at 9. You are very welcome. Fellowship Groups. Tuesday nights are for fellowship. 
our various fellowship groups located throughout the Western Cape are an extension of our church. Easily locate a fellowship group in your neighborhood by registering on the CE Cape Town North app or the website. Productions. It is showtime. CE Cape Town North Productions are world class in every sense of the word. Experience the gospel displayed and made real through music, dance and acting. Productions are widely advertised on our website and social media pages. Be prepared for the wow factor. The power of your mind. Put your mind power to work and be all God wants you to be. There are no limits to what you can achieve and absolutely no restrictions to how high you can propel yourself when you put your mind power to work. As you read, you will discover essential truths on renewing your mind, the concept of mind management, the power of thoughts, pulling down strongholds, dealing with negative thoughts and emotions, meditation, your moment of creation, and so much more. Be transformed by this bestseller authored by Pastor Chris Oyokolomi. Purchase a copy at the CE Cape Town North Bookshop today. At CE Cape Town North, our fellowship groups are an extension of our church located in your neighborhood. Join us every Tuesday for a time of prayer and fellowship. See yourself grow to new heights, increasing in the knowledge of the Word of God. And what better way to do so than by spending time with family. For more information, please visit the Info Desk or the Connect Lounge after service. Further info is also available on the CE Cape Town North app. Academy and Super Tots Crash. At CE Cape Town North, we have got you covered with a private school and crash all under one roof. Register your child at Super Tots Crash or CE Academy today and see how their life is transformed as the knowledge of the Word of God is imparted to them. of the various Super Squad coloring books and see the sparkle in your child's eyes as they color their way to victory. Whoa. Visit the bookshop today and purchase a copy for your child or have them share it as a special gift to their friends. All Super Squad merchandise is now available at the CE Cape Town North Bookshop. We look forward to welcoming you. Worship the King of Kings anywhere, anytime with this custom USB. Beautifully compiled and fully loaded with 26 of the most powerful worship songs by the CE North Love World Singers. Purchase Volume 2 today, now available at the bookshop.
Good morning, everyone, and welcome to an awesome Sunday service. Just greet the person next to you, say you are very, very welcome this morning.
shaped my life. You shaped my life in my mother's womb. Predestined me to become your own. Lord, you created your throne in me. With no help required from me. Your command. 
Will you do, dear shepherd, for us and just worship him while we're doing the song? Just give him your attention. Don't think of the person next to you. Don't look at the lights. Don't let anything get your attention. But set your focus on him. Oh 
Jesus, we are the fruits and splendor of your deeds. Master, Master, you get your word just as you said you shall never want want for nothing on this earth what a life you brought to us what a life you gave us in Christ Jesus oh we're so grateful to you there's none like you now again our minds and our spirits are open to receive your word in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Good morning, everyone. So nice seeing you this morning. Did you see what happened, those that prayed with us? Did you see what happened to the rain? Never doubt. Never doubt. The Bible says, Nothing is impossible for you. Never doubt. Never doubt. Yeah. That is the first miracle. <laughs> that is the first miracle. I, I say to you, it will be a sign for you. For all of those that prayed with us in the morning, it is a sign for you. We said between 12 and 2, it is allowed to come. If you go and look on YR, the last I saw, they said 2 o'clock the raindrops will start falling. <laughs> Remarkable. Amazing. This is what God has given us. <laughs> it is, greet, greet three people and say to them, God is amazing. Then you take your seat, please. Okay, you can take your seat. God is amazing. <laughs> Oh, he's so, so amazing. This morning, I want to talk to you about the triumphant life 
in Christ. The triumphant life in Christ. When, when we start talking about this life in Christ, many Christians and non-Christians are saying it's too good to be true. They say it can't be. They think that the life they read about or they're reading about in the Bible that Jesus was living when he was on this earth was only possible to him. They don't think it's for them. They think the life that the apostles lived, that the prophets lived in the Old Testament, they think it's stories. They don't believe the Bible really. It's a good book. It's a nice book to read. Why don't they believe it? They don't see it in, in their day. They don't see it in their life. So they sing, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your Christianity. I'm not interested in it because I'm not seeing it in my life. It's too good to be true. What they are actually saying, it is not true. So give me 2 Corinthians 2.14. A man is just as good as his word is. There's some guys, they will say, hey, listen, we're going tomorrow morning wherever. Maybe you go mountain biking or fishing or wherever. I'll see you at six o'clock. You can put your bottom rand on it that the guy will not be there at six o'clock. He's always late. Then you will, another person will say, I'll see you there at six o'clock. You can bet your bottom dollar this time because if you're there at 10 to 6, the man will be there waiting for you. What do you think about God? What do you think about him? That what he says about you that what he says you can do. How did I know that we could delay the rain? How did I know that? I read it in the book. I saw Elijah did it. So if he can do it, I can do it. Remember, he was not born again. He didn't have the Holy Ghost living in him. I have the Holy Ghost in me. And this book tells me that all things are possible to me. And I have decided 20 odd years ago to believe this book only. Not what YR is telling me. Yesterday when I, when I checked the weather, so obviously I checked the weather, I checked the weather. I said, YR, you are lying, you are lying, you're a liar, you're a liar. We could have told them. Because it's written in the book. So watch 2 Corinthians 2.14. Now thanks be to God, who sometimes, is that what's there? No. Always leads us in triumph in Christ always leads us in triumph in Christ. If you are in Christ, if you are in Christ, there's no failure for you. According to the book, according to this book, that is what he's saying. Why do so many experience failure then? Oh, we'll get to it. 
Give me, give me that in the Amplified. He says, but thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us spreads and makes evident everywhere the sweet fragrance of the knowledge of him. The gospel of Jesus Christ is a sweet fragrance. That is what it is. And he makes it known to men to peoples through us. Oh, so they saying, Pasion, what are you saying? You say you don't get challenges? No, that's not what I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying. We, we do not say there's no hardships. We do not say there's no problems or no persecution. But listen, go back, go back to, to the first scripture in the New King James and put it up. Now look at this and just see it properly. Why will I talk gloom and doom when my victory is sure? <laughs> Are you getting what I'm telling you? You've got two choices. If you don't believe that your victory is sure, you're going to fall to the other side. Oh, you know, the economy is down. You know, our business is not doing so well. And, and, and uh, you know, I, I went to the doctor and the doctor said this and this and this. And, and if you have this, then you've only got six months to live. And no. I thought, I thought he said, he always, he always, he always leads us in triumph. How do you read your Bible? How do you read your Bible? How do you read it? So why would I talk negative gloom and doom if God said to me, my victory is for sure. I'm always victorious. I'm always, you see, when I say that, some people get annoyed. They say, that guy is very braggadocious. He's got a big mouth. How can he say he always won? Who does he think he is? Doesn't he know that people have ups and downs? I don't. I don't. One up, another up, another up. And, and, and listen, listen, I don't have to take a substance to get her up. I got the Holy Ghost. The substance is in me. It lives in me. <laughs> give, me give me 2 Corinthians 2, um, 14, you gave that to us. Now, thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph, in Christ. Don't forget, in Christ, outside of Christ, you have doom and gloom. The challenges overcome you. Outside of Christ, you lose. You have ups and downs. You have moods. Outside of Christ, there's no life. But inside of Christ, there's life, life to the full, life to the full. <laughs> watch watch what, what James said, watch, watch what he said. I now get it, I now get it. James 1 verse 2, he says, my brethren, <laughs> he's talking to those that are in Christ. He's not talking to those that are outside of Christ. They can't have this yet. Yeah, it's only for those in Christ. He's saying, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Count it all joy. When you, why did he say that? Because he knew his victories for sure. 
Give it to me in the TVT. My fellow believers, I told you, not talking to everyone. My fellow believers, when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulty, see it as an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. <laughs> That's why I'm never down. How can I be? The victory is foretold. It's like going into, into whatever, whatever sport you are going into. A rugby game, a soccer game, a boxing match, uh, uh, whatever. And before you go into it, you know you have won. How are you going to go into it? Worried? No. Yeah, let's, let's finish this quickly, man. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Because you have won already. My brother and my sister, look at me. You have won before you have started. That is what the word says. Believe God and his word. Believe God and his word. Give me Isaiah 43 verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Does that sound like someone that's defeated? How does that sound to you? Wouldn't you like to be, listen carefully what I'm going to use now, in that class of being? Did you hear what I just said? The Lord never promised us that we would not face challenges. He never promised us that. But he assured us our victory will be always sure. Mm, give me 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God. Oh, you read it, you read it, you read it. One, two, three, go. The victory is only through our Lord Jesus Christ. If you're not in Christ, failure is your portion. Poverty is your portion. Sickness is your portion. But if you are in Christ, none of those things is your portion. None of it is your portion. You see, the gospel that many know is the gospel that says Jesus died for your sin so you don't have to go to hell. You can go to heaven. That is the gospel they know. But the other part of the gospel, they throw out, they throw it away. If you go and read, it says, by his stripes you were healed. Where did he get the stripes? When did they hit him like that? On the way to the cross. So that means that healing, divine health is your portion. Just as much as if you're born again and you're on your way to heaven. Because that is your portion now. Hell is not your portion. Your portion is also divine health. And Here's the one that boggles their mind because this one they don't want to take. He became poor. Where? On the cross. They stripped him of everything. He just had a little dookie over here. They stripped him of everything. He became poor on that cross. Why? That you and I should be rich. 
Hey, not spiritually. Because he never became spiritually poor. He died spiritually. He was separated from his father. And that is spiritual death. But they don't want to take that one. That is why they, they come with nasty remarks to all of these ministries and pastors, teachers that just become richer and richer and richer. They don't like it. They don't like it. But those people have taken the gospel, the full gospel of Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross. Maybe you're one of those that don't like it. Well, for your sakes he became poor. Give me the scripture. Let me show you the scripture. And by his stripes you were healed. Let, get that also. So 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich. How was he rich? He came from the lineage of David. David was a rich man. Solomon, when he was on the earth, was the richest man on the earth. And remember, they all hail from who? Papa Abram, which were, who was so rich that him and Lot couldn't even live together on the land. He was loaded. Jesus was loaded. Because you see, you read that Jesus... Not your neighbor, say don't sleep. <laughs> say wake up. <laughs> say pastor's watching you. <laughs> don't sleep. Say if I catch you sleep. <laughs> Slobbery <Slabriace>. ace. <laughs> you, 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 you made the effort. You showered. I hope you showered. <laughs> Oh, you cleaned yourself, you put on your, your nice clothes, you got in the vehicle, you got your, you made all that effort to come and sleep here. No. No, 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 no. Leave the sleeping. Papa Joe? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Amen. You say, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, I just explained to you what his lineage was, where he came from, yet, watch, for your sakes, not for his own sake. He didn't die for his own sake on the cross. It was for your sake. On that cross, he became poor. For your sake. He became poor. That you, through his poverty, might become rich. That means prosperity is the birthright of the Christian. As is, salvation is his birthright to the Christian. As is, divine health is the birthright of the Christian. That is the full gospel of Jesus Christ. That is why it's called good news. All three of those are good news. Are you hearing me? Why do you preach just one? Why? Why? Is poverty good? No. Is it nice not to have food for your stomach? Is it nice if it's winter in Cape Town and it's cold to sit in a house where the roof is leaking? Is that nice? Is it nice to sleep on the floor and not on the bed? Is that nice? No. Poverty is from Satan. Oh, dear God, I only get a few amens now. Prosperity is from God. 
The Bible says he take the poor out of the dust, from the dunghill, he takes them and put them among princes. That is what God does. So where did we got indoctrinated that poverty is a good thing. Well, you know, I don't want too much money because I think very rich people don't go to heaven. Lie! Amen. Papa Abe is in heaven. Amen. David is in heaven. Solomon is in heaven. Amen. The richest people I know, they're in heaven. Those, those guys I just mentioned now. So how do we, how do we get indoctrinated like that? How do we, how do we believe that? And then give me the one by stripes, Peter, yeah. Watch. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree. That's Jesus. He bore all our sins. He took our sins upon him on the cross, on the tree, on the cross. That, why did he do it? That we, having died to sin, might live for righteousness. Now watch now. By, you read from, from by. One, two, three, go. You what? You what? My, my, my. Must he still do it? It's been done. By whose stripes you were healed. When you come into Christ, listen carefully, you're on your way to heaven. When you come into Christ, all prosperity is yours. When you come in Christ, divine health is yours. That is the package. That is the package. Tell your neighbor, that is the package. Mmm. Yeah, you know what Jesus said? Give me John 16, 33. He says, these things, I, I've, I've spoken these things now to you. He said, these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. Oh, dear God. In the world you will have tribulation, a given. But, Tell your neighbor, there's that word again. <laughs> Say, but. but. Say, but. but. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. He has overcome every problem already. Why do you fret? Why do you fear? Why do you fret? Why do you fear? Give me that in the AMP. Amplified. I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace. In the world you have tribulation and distress and suffering, but be of courage, be confident, be undaunted, be filled with joy. I have overcome the world. My conquest is accomplished. My victory abiding. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, he accomplished it. Tell your other neighbor the same thing. Then you can tell him, it's done, 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 it's done. Hey! What a glorious message. What a glorious message. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not that religion that they have been teaching you. No. A thousand times no. Watch what he said. Watch what he said. You know, there are so many, they are scared of the devil. See? You know, God has got a lot of power, but the devil has got a lot of power too. Lie out of hell. 
He was stripped of all his power. He's got no power. Only the power that you allow him in your life. That is the only power he's got. You know, I, I used to, I used to, many times, I used to, in Superman, I used to stand. Then I say, hey, Satan, give me your best shot. And my mother said, you want to me? The devil's off your club, yes, I'll lay you. I said, he can't. She said, no, 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 my can't. Uh-uh. Uh, don't, please. You can say everything else, but don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I said, mommy, can't. Watch, give me Luke 10, 19. Give it to me in the Amplify. Listen carefully. I love it. Tell your neighbor, listen carefully. I, is, is Jesus speaking, I have given you authority that you now possess to tread on serpents and scorpions. He's not talking snakes on the ground and scorpions on the ground. No, 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 no. He's talking about demon powers. Watch now. And the ability to exercise authority over some of the power of the enemy, Satan. How do you read the Bible? How did my mother? I said, mom, look here, look here, look here. Look here, over all the power of the enemy, Satana. <laughs> and look, and nothing will in any way harm me. <laughs> Give me your best shot. <laughs> Can't do anything. He's helpless. He can't do anything if you're in Christ. How do you think? How do you think? How you've been taught? Yeah, many may jinx me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You scared? You think that jinx will come? They have made. They have made little dolls, voodoo dolls. They put pins in everywhere, even where there are not holes. They put in pins. Can't do anything. What can I do? He's got no power. Tell your neighbor, he's got no power over the one. Yeah, he's got no power over the one that is in Christ that knows who he is. Give me that in, uh, let, me, let me show you what Jesus came to give. Give me John 10.10. 10. Uh-huh. The thief comes only in order to steal, kill, and destroy. I came, Jesus said, I came. Jesus speaking here. Let's see why he came. He said, I came that they may have and enjoy life. How do you enjoy life when you've got pain? How do you enjoy life when you're sick? How do you enjoy it then? If you lie there in the bed and you've got fever and you go, are you enjoying life? No. No. But Jesus came that you and I can enjoy life. Watch. And have it in abundance. Have it in abundance. Are you having life in abundance when, when your roof is leaking and your bed is wet? And No, no, no. So that means abundance in everything. That's why I gave you the three things, what he did on the cross. He said, and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. That's my life. That's my life. That is my life. I've got the life of God in me. Give me 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Let me show you something quickly. I said to you, the Christian is not a normal being. 
He's not. You get human beings and you get other beings, which I don't want to get into now. But then you get another class of being. Watch. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, there's that word again, in Christ, are you getting it? Outside of Christ, there's no life. Inside of Christ, there's life. He says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. What is a new creation? Something that never existed before. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new being. He's a new type of man. Are you, are you getting what I'm telling you? A new type of man. Watch what that type is. Old things, those things of failure, those things of poverty, those things of sickness, yeah, all those old things are where? If something passed away, you bury it, it's gone, it's dead, it's finished, finito, uh-huh. He said, passed away. Then he says, behold, look, see, all things have become new. Give me the next verse. Now all things are of God. Which things? These new things. These new things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Christ Jesus and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Now all these new things are of God. That is why it's called eternal life. It is the same life. Eternal life is the same life that God has got in him that is in you, available for you. Oh, let me shock you. When you receive eternal life, you come into the same class of being as what God is because it's the same life. It's the same life that is in God that is then in you. That's why he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That means he lives in you. The word says that that which is born of God became one spirit. Give me the verse. That which is born of God became one spirit. One spirit with him. So when you are born again, they cannot tell the difference between eternal life and the life that is in you, it is one life. You're not a monster. You haven't got two lives if you're born again. You haven't got two natures in you. You haven't got the white dog and the black dog. And then sometimes the white dog wants to go and foodle doodle and the black dog doesn't want to. So now you, you, you are torn between these two. No, 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 no. When you were born again, you received the life of God in you. You now have the ability to live righteous, to live holy, because that ability is in you now. Read, read this verse, 1 Corinthians 6, 17 for me. One, two, three, go. Did you see that? Two spirits, no, one spirit, one spirit with him. You cannot tell the difference between God in you and you. You became one with him. Jesus, Paul said it in another way. He said, we are the body of Christ. Jesus is the head and we are the body. The same life that is in this head 
is in this body. Do you know what life is in this head? Eternal life. Not the human life. The day that you get born again, the human life stops to exist in you and you receive the life of God, the divine life, the righteous life in you. That is what happens when you get born again. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Close your eyes, please. Sukura Mandarabande. If you're in this place and you want to have this life in you, if you are sick and tired, and I'm talking a language that you understand, of the way that your life is going, God brought you here to change it. He cannot change it by himself. He needs you to accept his life in you. Doesn't happen automatically. So if you're in this place and you want to get born again today, you want to receive this life that I've been talking, I showed you that it's available. It's available to everyone. Anyone, whosoever, whosoever. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, anyone who believes in him can have eternal life. This life that I've just been talking about. If that is what, is that, if that is what you want, I'm going to ask you to put up your hand that I can pray with you, please. Just put up your hand. I see those hands. I see those hands on the right. I see these in the middle. I see those on my left. I see those on top there. Amen. If you are very serious, come and stand here at the front that we can pray together. Come. Don't stay. Don't be left behind. Don't be left behind. This is your time. This is your time. You're not too old. You're not too young. You're not too white. You're not too black. He made it available for every single one. Whosoever wants it can have it. There's a white guy sitting in this block where it goes up. You have tried many things that don't work. 
you were actually contemplating suicide because you thought that this thing is just a hoax. God loves you. And that's why he brought you here. Come. Come. My brother, after you have prayed this prayer today, you will live and see the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. Death has just been taken away. It's not your option. You will fly with us out of here to meet him in the sky. Is that all of you? Are you sure? Because now it, it gets, it, it took a lot for that man to come to the front. But it took that God showed me into his life. God knows every one of you here personally. And he doesn't want you to perish. That is the grace, the love of God. Don't let this hour pass you by. You say, I've got so many things that I still want to fix. No! Jesus said, come as you are. I will fix them for you. He doesn't want you to fix anything. That's why he died on the cross. So that he can give you the life and nature that can fix anything. Must I come and fetch you? <laughs> come. Come. There's place, there's place, there's place, there's place, there's place. This is why God brought you here today. Maybe you thought it was to receive a healing. No. He loves you personally so much that he doesn't want you to go to hell. He doesn't want you to live this defeated life. He doesn't want you to. So I'm gonna ask everyone here to bow your heads and you're gonna pray this prayer after me. Can you hear me well? Can you hear me there? Is it? I'm gonna ask you to 
pray this prayer out loud because the Word of God says in Romans 10 verse 9, it says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That means, give me the next verse. For with a heart one believes unto righteousness, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So it's with your mouth that you declare, and it's with your mouth that you get catapulted on your road to heaven. That is how you do it. That's how in this realm we receive with our hands, not with our feet. We walk with our feet, but we receive with our hands. In the spiritual realm, you receive with words. So whatever you say, you will have. So close your your eyes and then pray this prayer after me. Say, Father God, I come to you this morning. Your word says, Whosoever calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my life, to be Lord of my life. I believe Jesus is not dead. He's alive and he's in heaven. I now receive eternal life into my spirit. I am born again now. I'm a child of God now. And greater is he who lives in me now than he that's in the world. Oh, glory to God. Give them a big hand. Glory, 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 glory. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to follow that guy with a flag, right? He's just gonna explain to you quickly what happened to you, and then we're gonna give you a book that's gonna, that, that you can read that explains everything that has happened to you now, okay? Is that fine? When the others leave, you will leave with them. And they will explain to you now the Holy Ghost and you will explain to them baptism because then straight from here, we can take you through the baptism water. They can, they will show you there. You say, I haven't got a towel. We've got towels. Okay, amen. And I'm sure they, they have enough um, T-shirts. So will you follow that Herod guy? Please, if you don't want to do it, it's also fine. There's no forcing you, but it's available now. Take the full hog, take the whole thing. Don't leave the good things. Okay, come. God is good, isn't he? (laughs) Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, if you've got a bag of that, you can take that with you. If there's not somebody that you know, don't don't trust everyone sitting next to you. (laughs) And be careful. You know, we had a we had a a meeting like this. And a guy asked the sister next door, may I have your phone? I just want to phone my souls. They haven't arrived. So she gave him the phone. And then obviously he walked. He got in the car and he left. (laughs) Then we had him on because we've got good security. We, We had him on... Um, on camera. Then they went to another Christ Embassy church in Stellenbosch and they tried the same thing and they got them there. Not a month later, that same person got killed by gang members. 
You see, don't, you must be careful what we do in the house of God. This is, this is you know, is a gathering of God's saints, God's holy ones. Can't treat them and do just like you want. But that's another day's talk. Not today. Let's worship. Let's, you can stand with us. We're going to worship God now. For one or two songs. Someone with like a rash on your skin. There are children in children's church that has got the same challenge. Only those with a rash. I see it on your on your arms. I see some. There's a lady that's got it on her legs. Come. I want to pray for you. Okay, carry on. You are gracious. You are gracious. You are so kind. You are so
Don't fetch him. Don't fetch him. Where's the rush on you? Yes. Okay. Look at me. You're gonna leave it now. You're gonna come out of it now. You're gonna loosen now. Loose! Loosen now. Leave her! Get out! Never to return to her again. Never to return again. And now bring complete health to her. Complete. Did you have that rash when you came? Go and check. Go, go. Let the lady go with you to go and check yourself in the in the bathroom. Let someone come with her. Come. Is it on the kit? Yeah. Yeah. to return never to return she's clean she's clean she's clean Kijk eens voor mij. Kijk net. Kijk eens voor mijn oogjes. Kijk net, dat is oké. Dat is oké. Die spirits die zijn bezig met deze taal. I command you now in the name of Jesus Christ to go from him now. Your tormenting spirit, you are not tormenting this child any longer. This is the end of you. Go now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Where's the lady that went to go and fetch her? child that was here. Where is she? Not back yet. Huh? Not back yet. Not back yet. Okay, I'm waiting for her. Who is she?
Let this guy come and see me, okay, with this child, okay? And her ears, I bring healing to her ears. And her throat, I bring healing to her throat now. In Jesus' name. Where's the lady that went to go and fetch her? Child, she's coming. It's you. Okay, how old is she? Six. Where, where is it? I want to. Where is it? Show me. Show me. Show me. Okay. And does it itch? Especially at night. Especially at night. Yes. Okay. Why do you think? I have a suspicion of what I think. What is your suspicion? Come here. I love you. You're beautiful. Her dad has said some things. Pardon? Her dad has said some things. He said he'll make her in a way when she's with me. She'll always be sick. Mm -mm. Not that. Mm -mm. Give, me, give me Luke 10 verse 19. Give it to me on the screen. I want you to read that. He said, listen carefully. I have given you, you, what's your name? Leonie. Leone, yes. I have given Leone authority that you now possess to tread on serpents and scorpions and the ability, Leone, the ability to exercise authority over all the power of the enemy, Satan, and nothing will in any way harm you or your child. Look at me. You are free in Jesus' name. Okay, she's a girl. 
Det er lidt fint. Det er afrikansk, engelsk. Engelsk. Hallo. Just look at my eyes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Go now from her, never to return to this child again. In Jesus' name. Go. She's free. She's free. She's free. Yeah? Yeah? Did they check you? What does it look like? These that I see here. It's much better than it was. Much better. Yes. Much better is not good enough. It must puma zonke. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, there's still a bit left. Huh? There's still a bit left. It's still a? A bit left. A bit left. Yeah. That bit. Before you go to bed tonight, that bit would also have left you, never to return to you again. Amen, thank you. Oh, suku tarabari babando, handruku tarabande. I see guys with leg problems, left leg, your left leg, your left leg had been giving you for a long time problems. Yeah, come, come. If I say guys, it can be ladies too. People, please, don't just think guys. Look at me. Leave her. Leave her now! Go from her! Come out of her! Now! Now! wrong what was wrong the, hip, the joints of my hips. the joints of my what hips. couldn't you do before um, it's it just giving me okay some pains, what pains. couldn't you do before I could do everything but do it, it now the pains. do it now do what you couldn't do do it now do it now do it now what was the joint what was the joint uh, this this the left joint the, yeah the um, my left leg, the, the hip joints. Yeah? It's giving me pains. Giving you pains. Where's the pain now? It's gone. Listen, look at me. It will never return again. Amen. Never return again. Amen. It was the demonic force that was busy with your leg. You're too young. Yeah, run. Do whatever you couldn't do.
What's what's it? What is wrong? She always. Okay. Look at me. Look, look, look at me. Never to come back to her again. She's free. She's free. Turn to her again. Never. Yes, go. <laughs> go from her. Go. Go from her. Go from her. Go from her. Get out of her now! I bring healing to this lady now. I bring healing to her legs. I bring healing into this body of hers now. I bring you healing in the name of Jesus. I bring you healing. O satarabonde. O sataye. Kotarabarababandorobonde. Kitaraba. Go, 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 go. Go. Get out of him. Out, out. Leave him now. Get out of him. Get out of him. What is food? What's wrong? What's wrong? Your left leg? Yeah, my bad. What is, what is it? Sorry. Explain to me, what, what did the I doctor can't say? I can't make it, it was good. <laughs> you can't? I'm not, at all, I'm so good with it. No, you're good with it. Yes. Yeah, don't worry. You're very good with it. What is, what is the issue? Um, <laughs> my thing, speed. Speed. Mm -hmm. And the leg? And this one as well, yes. This what one. is the leg? What is the issue? Not the, this, okay, this idea. What is the issue? <laughs> Me, this idea. This. Have you been to the doctor? Yes. What does he say? It's going to, it will keep going. It will what? It will go back. It, it will go back will help. to will normal. What was the cause? <laughs> it was my, this one, this, this side of my yeah. tabia, yeah. What was the cause that it happened? Um, um, this one, yeah. It yeah. It to me. Okay. I can't see, I can't see everyone. I can't, it, it pain to you all the time. Sorry. <laughs> Fine. How old are you? How old are you? Where's my my car is here when he's here. He'll tell you. Okay. Yeah, he had a stroke. Had a stroke, right. 60, 68. 68. Mm. When did he have the stroke? Uh, about two, two months ago. Two months. Mm. And he's been in physio and that now for that, that time. He had no mobility at all on the right side. What do you want me to do for you? Wow, I would like everybody to be better. To be better? Yes. For a lot of things. <laughs> Are you going to serve God then? I can. What do you mean you can? 
<laughs> a world. <laughs> Eyes being already locked already. Kosata, stretch your hands towards this man and pray in tongues with me. Korobo Koribaraba Bande. Tutarabarabaka Torobonda Ramande. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring healing to this man now. Everything that went wrong. In this brain, I now reverse. I now reverse. I now reverse. In Jesus' name. O Sarabara Babande. Kondarabara Babanda. Breathe in. Deep. No, breathe. Breathe. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. So Do you want to stand? Do you want to stand up? I can try. Take those, take the, open it for him. Open it for him. Open it for him. <laughs> Give me your hand. Come, look at me. Don't look at the feet. Look at me. Look at me, brother. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 That's okay. That's good. Come. Look at me. Don't look at the feet. Don't look at the feet. Look at me. Come. Come. Don't look at the feet. Look at me. Look me in the eyes. Yeah. Come. Don't look at the feet. Come. 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 The healing that has started in your body will be completed. And then you have to serve God. The Bible says, thou shall have no other gods before me. No sport can be your God. He must be your God. Are you hearing me? You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. And I want to see you in church every Sunday. Are you hearing? Yes. So that you can get the word. But this that has started will be completed. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Brother. This brother, I'm going to pay for to go to healing streams so that pastor can pray for him there. Obviously, he hasn't got the money to go. Did you see us on healing streams? Yes. Did you see what happened there? Yes. Yeah. So for him, because I know that the Lord has started a work in your legs and he's going to complete it. For you. Amen. Okay? Amen. So, um, Janine, please, get his particulars. Amen. Okay, what is the story? You mentioned the left leg. The, uh-huh. left, the left leg is uh-huh. lame because of the stroke. Also uh, the stroke. 18 or 19 years ago. Oh, how old were you when you got the stroke? 14. No. Why? Lifestyle. I was too young. It's too young, too young. Why so many strokes? Why? Thank you, Jesus. Kosatarabu kuriba. Stretch your hands towards her. Kotaraban derebere bebende. This damage that this clot has caused, I reverse it now and I bring healing to this woman in Jesus' name. Healing to her. Healing now. Healing. Thank you. 
Breathe in deep and out. Again. Again. Look at me. It's not a time to cry. Not a time to cry. Do you want to stand? Look at me. Accident in 2020. Involved was, in an accident. Yes. So. And then he was uh, he get a brain injury, which is traumatic brain injury. So his left side is impacted. His left side. Yeah, like his hand on the side and his. his because of a brain injury. Can he talk? He can't talk. No. Can't talk. Yeah, he can't was, walk. Yeah. How he old was, is he? He's now six. Six. Yeah, he was injured when he was one year, four months. He was in. He was injured when he was one. Injured. Year, four so months. he was in the accident when he was one year. Yeah. Is he your firstborn? No, he's my secondborn. Your secondborn. Yeah. Stretch your hands. Let's join our faith. Look at me. Look at me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Kosataraboye Kiribarababa. Kotaramaka Torobonde. Brasatarabo Kuribarababa. Urobositarabarababande. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Zaka Torobonde. Hendroko Tarabarababa. Horoboso. I bring healing to this child in the name of Jesus. Bosa Tarabarababa. O Torobosa Tande. Korobosi Tarabarababa. Is he in this church? Are you in this church? Yes, we are attending. Church. You are attending? Yes. Okay. I want, I want you to give him the book, None of These Diseases, Janine, that he can read that, okay? And I want this child, every Sunday, he must come to church. I want him to sit in the anointing. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because something has entered him now that will start a process in this child. Okay? Out of him. Come out 
of his heart come out of his lungs now. In Jesus' name. Loose! for those. Yeah. Did you hear us speaking in tongues? Please, please take your seat. Did you hear us speaking in tongues? Like I've just explained this morning to you, what Jesus did on the cross Tongues is for every single Christian. Don't let anyone deceive you by telling you a lie. It's, for, it's available for anyone. Because I know there's so many teachings, and I'm going to do a teaching on it to explain it properly. Because I know under the white Afrikaans, the wrong teachings has been going out. That it's just for a selected few, that it's just for some. No, it is for every single born again Christian. And the Holy Ghost, let, let me show them something. Um, give me 2 Corinthians 5 and then I, I would need Colossians 1 where it is Christ um, in you. Watch here. Give me 2 Corinthians 5, 17 first. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, do you see that? So when you get born again, you get born into Christ. You are now in Christ. This is salvation, but you cannot live the Christian life without the Holy Ghost. So watch what he says in Colossians, is it 102, 127, to them God will to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you. Salvation is you in Christ. Then to live this authentic Christian life, you need Christ in you. That is when you receive the Holy Ghost. He comes and lives in you. And with that, go speaking in tongues because that is his language. When I speak in an unknown tongue, I don't speak to men. I speak to God. Give me the scripture. Um, 1 Corinthians 13, 14. 14. For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God. For no one understands him. When I go, what did I say? I don't know. But my spirit communicates 
with God. That's what the Word says. That's what the Word says. Are you seeing that? There has been so many teachings that are not right because they don't do what the word says. He says, for no one understands him. For no one understands him, even the one speaking. However, in the spirit, he speaks mysteries. That means... In the spirit, Satan can plan something. And while you're speaking in tongues, you are revealing those mysteries. You are bringing it out. And angels can go and open the road for you. Oh, if you will just take everything that God gave us. If you will just take everything, not, uh, give me the verse, you make the word of God of none effect because of your traditions. Because of what you've been taught. You believe it's not for you. You believe it's for those holy ones. Well, I've got news for you. If you're born again, you're also holy, and it's for you. But here, what many do, He said, making the word of God of no effect through your tradition. I'm from a traditional church. We don't speak in tongues dead. Look! Which you have handed down. And many such things you do. You make the word of God of no effect. You make the word of God that has got no power because of what you believe. I wanna give you the opportunity to receive the Holy Spirit now. Anyone that wants to receive the Holy Ghost, come to the front that we can pray with you, please. There's many more. Many more, but listen, it's up to you. God will never force you, never force you. But you cannot live this life. Some of you have been serving God for donkey years, but you've never, you've never experienced this life that I was preaching today. You've never seen this type of life. You, you thought, no, this defeated life is the life that I want. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Ghost. That is who you need in your life. You cannot live the Christian life to the full without the Holy Ghost. You cannot. It's impossible. Why are you so proudful? Why don't you want to admit, I'm talking to a white guy, why don't you want to admit that you've been wrong all these years? And I can prove it to you in the word of God. I can show it to you in the word of God. Humble yourself and accept the word of God because it is able to save your soul. Okay, carry on worshiping. If you want to receive the Holy Ghost, that some of them come out there too to receive the Holy Spirit. Yeah, bring them over here, please. All of those that want to receive the Holy Ghost, come this side, please. All of those that want to receive the Holy Spirit, come over this side.
Wat is jij hier voor? Voor wat is jij hier? Oh, hij heeft mijn bed gekruid met zo'n mijn enkels. Hij? Oh, hij heeft mijn bed gekruid met mijn enkels. Oké. Okay. What's a stroke? Who do understand what she's saying? Huh? Look at me. No, look at me. Look at me. You're gonna live her now. You're gonna live her now. You're gonna come out of her now. Lusa. Lusa. Go now. Who's with her here? Who's with this mama here? My daughter is Where is she? She's at work today. At work. How did you get here, mama? She dropped me here. She dropped you here. Charlene said uh, okay. she will take me home. Okay, wonderful. What is the issue? I was diagnosed with motor neuron disease. Wow. Mm. Do you know what? Don't cry. Put up the scripture. Every me shall bow at the name of Jesus. Even any moron disease or whatever it's called. It's just another name. It must bow. I want you to see it. Where's the scripture? Put it up. Can you read there? Can you see? Yes. Read out loud. Mind that camera. Stand to the left. My left, your right, yeah. Read. That at the name of that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. So this thing, that is not, that is a decree. That's a law. That's a law. So don't cry. Don't cry. No crying. Your tears will not move God, but your faith will move God. Do you understand that? You understand it fully? Yes. Amen. So now the tears are gone. So we've taken one step. Yes, okay. Pastor. Can we take the second step? Yes, Pastor. Okay. We need to get the anointing in you. So I'm going to ask you to breathe in deep and out. And in again and out. And in again and out. I rebuke this demon that goes by whatever name. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. And all the damage that you caused in this body, I now bring healing to this woman. I reverse every single thing that has gone wrong in this body and that process is starting now in Jesus name do you want to stand you want to over there
take it there. Just give her a hand. Stand. Stand. Just stand. Hold her. Stand. No, don't move. Just stand. I just want you to stand first. Satarabande, Kotorobu Kuribaka Torobondo, Horobo Sataramande, Horobo Kutarame Kitarakato, Hobokurama Satiende, Kotorabande, pick up, O Sotarabarababa. Now I want you to stand on them. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Look at me. Look at me. Just stand still. Wow, it's already better. You couldn't do that when you first got out of that chair. You couldn't do that. Thank you, Lord. You must come to church every Sunday that you can get the word and that process that has started in you it will carry on are you hearing Amen. and that scripture that I gave you yes, you must have it and repeat it to yourself yes. and then every day you say legs you're getting stronger and stronger Amen. arms you are getting stronger Amen. and stronger Amen. they've got intelligence they must hear Amen. they must hear are you hearing me? Amen. They must hear. Yeah. Okay? Amen. Okay. Thank you. Is this everyone for the Holy Spirit, eh? Okay. Okay. I'm going to, um, for the sake of time, I'm going to ask that the counselors just take you to a room just there. When the others leave, you will leave. They're going to quickly explain to you, and then they're going to lay hands on you, okay? And you will speak in other tongues. Is that fine? Okay. Can, can who, can you, that lady with the red, Rika, can you follow her? It's just here, it's not far. Okay. Return to him again. Never to come back to him again. Never to come back to him again. Fear. bring healing to this young man now in the name of Jesus complete 
restoration of those legs. Stand with us and then sing this again. You reign in majesty. You reign in, in victory, King of glory. Hallelujah. He reigns through you. That is how he reigns on this earth. He reigns through you. What you are sowing here this morning was no display. It was no act. It was the power of God working through a man, entering vessels, entering men, and take diseases out of them. That's what you saw. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus can never fail. Never. Hallelujah. You can take your seats for a moment. It is now offering time, and I want to share a scripture with you. But before that we do that, you are aware that we are in a kingdom, right? When you become born again, you are brought into the kingdom. And in this kingdom, there's an economic system. Just like any other kingdom, there's a way. God shows us in his word how things function. And if we apply the word, we get the results. So I want to share a scripture with you. Luke 6 verse 38. You've seen it so many times. It says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into my bosom. For with the same measure that you meet 
with all it shall be measured to you again. Two things here. The principle that God has put for us in his economic system is giving. Giving opens the door for his blessing. So the first word you see there, give. It's a spiritual, I don't want to say instruction. It's a principle, but it can become an instruction if you apply it correctly. And then it says, and it shall be given unto you. So that means whatever you give, it shall be given unto you. Whether it be anything in life, you know that you've, you've heard people say, you shall, sow what you, or you shall reap what you've sown. Exactly the same thing. If it is money that you are giving, it is money that will be given to you, pressed down, shaken together, good measure. And quickly another scripture, which is the important part that comes with it. If we look at 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6 to 8. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he who sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every, is that the correct? Yeah. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. The Amplified Classic talks about a cheerful, joyous giver. But the part I want to show you here is how you made it up in your heart. This morning is Sunday Extra. Extra. You've seen all the extra already. But that's not all. Extra is what you determine it to be in your life. If there's a financial miracle that you require, it is your time to take a hold of that now. You do that with your giving. If you want to sow a seed, if you want to pay a tithe, if you want to give God just an offering for what you've seen and experienced here this morning, showing that He is Almighty God. I want to give you that opportunity this morning. You'll find on your seats, you've seen there's an envelope on your seat. To make it easier for you, you can put cash in there. Also, there's some details on that envelope. And for those watching us on the stream, you'll find that information on the screen now. There's an EFT details if you want to do an electronic transfer. Also, there's a snap scan code. And then for those of you who want to use card facilities, we have them available in the two entrances, at entrance one and two at the information desks. So I want to give you that opportunity this morning. Give what is in your heart. Because that is what God is looking for. And that's the measure he will utilize to multiply it back to you. Hallelujah. So I want to ask the welcome host now to receive the offering while we watch a short clip. Amen. If stylish comfort is what you look for in a clothing brand, then the exclusive Jesus brand is just the label for you. Get yours at the CE Cape Town North Bookshop today. If you're a youth in Cape Town, or if you live in Joburg or Durban, or maybe you live in the UK, don't miss this youth camp. Limitless Youth Camp is unexplainable. This camp will really transform your life. This is your time for an answer. This is your time to find out what God has for you. The time has come and the excitement is real. The Limitless Teens Church Youth Camp 2024 has finally arrived. Join us from 19 to 21 April 2024. Move to the next and higher level and become the greater you. Register on the CE Cape Town North app today. The CE Cape Town North Bookshop. We invite you to come and browse our bookshop, offering a variety of books and DVDs for adults and fantastic material for children to build their faith and train them in the way they should go. Never go out of style with the Jesus Brand clothing range exclusively available at our bookshop. 
purchase your monthly copy of the Rhapsody of Reality's daily devotional for adults, teens, and early readers, as well as the Read to Me. See all of this and more at our bookshop, open Mondays to Fridays from 9 to 3, also before and after all church services. Foundation School is an eight-week course that truly helps to build your foundation on Jesus Christ, the only sure foundation. Every Sunday after service, we have a new intake for Foundation School where students are immersed in the Word and they are taught how to renew their minds. Visit the Foundation School stand in the upper room for more information and registration. See you there. week at CE Cape Town North. Are you new to church or maybe you have been here for some time? We invite you to join us in the Connect Lounge on the second floor after service. If you are between the ages of 18 and 25 years, we invite you to meet us at Interact after service. Find us in the Glory Room. Please note there will be no limitless teens church service this evening. Be sure to join us next week. Join us this evening from 5 p.m. in this venue for the Global Communion Service with Pastor Chris. Make an everlasting change on Monday evening at prayer night starting at 7 p.m. Every Tuesday, our fellowship groups get together. Visit the information desk and get connected to a fellowship group near you. Worship the King of Kings with us at Worship Night this Friday at 7 p.m. And we look forward to welcoming you all again on Sunday at 9 a.m. for an awesome time in the Word of God. Hallelujah. Just before we close, I want to just share a testimony. Um, about a month ago, I was on this altar and I told you about a microwave that was giving me some challenges. <laughs> I can tell you now, that microwave is working perfectly. Amen. That microwave stood on that counter and tried us for a, probably four weeks. He looked at us and we kept telling him who he was. We put a mug in there and every time we walked past it, we would tell him what he's going to do. We'll switch it on. It will turn and circle and everything goes on. And then when you open it, it's not hot yet. But like Pastor told us last week, tomorrow. So we continued with tomorrow. And Wednesday evening, I was at worship practice and Janine phoned me and said, our microwave is working. <laughs> so I just want to tell you, the word of God works only if you apply it. You can say yes, you can say amen, but until you put it to work, it's not going to work for you. So I want to really encourage you, don't let even a microwave tell you the word is not true. It is true, and you have authority. Everything will bow to the name of Jesus, even a microwave. Amen. Let us just... Thank God for the offering. I want to just pray for us. Father, we thank you for your grace and your love. Thank you for the word that you have given us, which is alive in us. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that you gave us this morning to sow, Father. Father, we thank you for everything we have seen this morning, lives being changed, so many coming into the kingdom, Father. Thank you for everyone that received Christ in their life. Thank you for everyone walking away this morning as a different person, Father. 
We thank you for each and every one of them, Lord, and we thank you that they will return to come and receive more and learn who they are in Christ, Father. Father, we thank you for every tithe paid, every seed sown, every offering given, Father. And we thank you, Lord, it is multiplied in the mighty name of Jesus into the kingdom, and it is multiplied into the hands of those that gave it, Father, just like your word says. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. That is our life, Father. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us and have an awesome, awesome weekend further. Goodbye.